Hi, in this video, we will look at the distribution charts. We will be looking only at the column histogram chart in this video tutorial. So let me go back to my Power BI. Histograms look similar to bar charts, but histograms are used to show distributions of variables while bar charts are used to compare variables. Histogram plot quantitative data with ranges of the data grouped into bins while bar charts plot your categorical data. Power BI by default does not provide any visualization for histogram charts. So let me click the three ellipses over here. And from here, I can import the histogram visualization chart from the marketplace. So this Power BI visuals pane basically contains lots of different custom visuals that are basically created by third parties. So here, if you see there is an histogram chart that is available. So just add and you see the histogram chart is successfully imported and you can see it in the visualization pane as well. So as I already said, if you need to see the distribution of the data set, you can use the histogram. So first let me select the histogram and then let me select a particular value. So I will select the unit cost here. So it plots a chart where it takes the different values of unit cost and divides them into several bins and plots those bins as an histogram. So let me uh, expand this section. So this is your typical histogram chart. If you hover over one of the bins, the tool to basically shows the range of the unit cost that this bin has segregated into and also the frequency distribution. If you are not satisfied with the default number of bins that the histogram has chosen, what you can do is you can go to the format section and under general tab, you basically have an option to specify the number of bins that you want. For example, if you want to have only five bins to represent your data, just enter five and enter. Okay, You get only five bins to show your data. Let me minimize that. And much of the formatting sections for any of the charts are very much similar. So what I will do is I will cover almost all the different formatting sections for column histogram and hope that that will apply the same for the rest of other charts. So under general tab, we have already discussed about the number of bins. And if you want to show a density distribution rather than a frequency distribution, you can turn off the frequency toggle. Okay, so let me go back to a frequency distribution and this X, Y, width and height positions basically position your chart. So for example, if you want to place it towards the right, you can increase the X position. Okay, so if you say 30, it moves towards the right. And if you want to move it towards the down, you basically increase the Y position. Okay, so if you increase the Y position, it goes towards the bottom. If you want to decrease the width of the chart, you can basically enter a value that suits you. And if you want to increase the height of the chart, you can again do that by using this particular field. You can also enter any description over here that will be read by a screen reader when the visual is selected. So that will be helpful for people who are basically using the screen readers. So let me minimize the general tab and come into my data colors tab. And if you want to change the color of the chart, you can basically go and select any of the colors that basically suit you. So let me minimize the data colors tab and come to my X axis tab. So X axis tab basically refers to the data labels that are present here. And if you want to turn off the X axis, you can basically uh, say it off. So here you see the X axis has gone away. So let me put that on. And again, you have several different formatting options. So you can go and basically choose any of the formatting options and the color will be changed accordingly. If you do not want to display the title unit cost, you can again toggle it off and you have several different display units. For example, right now it is auto. Okay. If you want to have a thousands display unit, you can just select that and the values will be calculated accordingly 
to make sure that uh, the thousands unit is inculcated in you can also go and decrease the decimal places for example if you want to show only one decimal place just replace two with one and press enter and note that the decimal places have become uh, reduced to one so let me minimize my x-axis and if you go to y-axis it is pretty much the same so I will skip that and using the data label section you can basically label any of these different bars so if you turn it on you get the different labels for each of the different bars and here for the first bar I'm not able to see the label properly so what I will do is I will change the color of the label to something uh, that can be seen anyway this is as well not uh, well visible but I, I, I hope you can uh, change it to a better color and again you have similar options like display units, decimal places and text size. You can basically go and increase the text size so that the labels are bigger. So let me minimize my data label section and go to my title section. Here you can basically uh, change the title if you want. So basically I will say unit cost iPhone histogram and note that your chart updates to reflect it. Uh, even without any refresh and again you have different formatting options like font color and background background and you can also go and change the alignment of your title and increase the text size and change the font family so let me go and uh, minimize this title and uh, if you want to add a background to your chart you can basically turn it on and come to your background section to basically uh, have any of the colors that you want as the background so let me change it to light uh, ash and you can also increase the transparency or uh, make it more opaque okay so I think this looks slightly better at any point in time if you do not like any of these options that we have specified you can always click revert to default so that will basically take you to the uh, previous state so let me minimize this background section and come to my border section so right now if you click away from this chart you see that there is no border if you want to have any border then what you can do is you go to the border section and turn the border on you can also specify what is the color of the border that you would like so basically I would I would have a light ash color and then click here and you see that you have a border so this is helpful especially when you have uh, several different charts on the same report page so in summary we have learned about the column histogram chart in this video and in the next video we will look at a different category of charts called the composition charts thank you